Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a film review and today I'm going to be reviewing Murder on the Orient Express. I saw it last night um, in theaters and it is based on a book by Agatha Christie which I just did a review on so I'll link that down below and it'll also be linked at the end of this video. A little bit of details about the actual film. So basically this movie just came out in 2017 just in case you're watching this sometime in the future then yes it came out in 2017. Um, the director is Kenneth Bran... Bran... something. Cool! <laughs> The writers are Michael Green, who wrote the screenplay and is based off a novel by Agatha Christie, like I said. The stars of the actual movie, Penelope Cruz, William Defoe. there's a lot of really famous um, actors and actresses in this film. So it's about an hour and 54 minutes, so almost two hours. It's PG-13, crime drama, mystery, the whole thing. The actual premise of the movie is it's basically a whodunit kind of story, so someone gets murdered on a train and basically... The detective on the train, Hercules Puriot, who it, it, they, he says it's super French, which I can't. Hercule Poirot. <laughs> but <laughs> he tries to investigate this case and figure out who on the train is the murderer. So that's kind of the story behind this film and the book. <laughs> I am reviewing this from a like bookworm's point of view as well so just keep that in mind. I'm not tr I don't traditionally review movies and tv shows. And by the way what this is all about I just decorated for Christmas. I know it's early but I don't care. So I started decorating. This is a start. <laughs> so yeah that's happening. I think it's cute. I like it. Um, so basically talking about the actual film I thought the cinematography of the whole thing was absolutely incredible like I'll put some still shots and some uh, clips and stuff up but you can just see how incredible it is I specifically love like the mountain scenes the snow like I love snow <laughs> so I love seeing the winter scenes of the whole thing and then I also love like the decor on the actual train so they had those lights and just the way it was decorated it was very like old-fashioned vintage kind of decorations which I really liked seeing. For the actors and actresses I really thought they were all amazing. They did a great job. Our, the dude who actually plays um, the detective, the main lead, was so cool. I loved his stash. He was everything. He provided like a lot of comic relief with the show as well but the only thing that I have to say about him like on the negative side which Okay, so in the book, the character Hercules Pieria, whatever, period, <laughs> he does not do all these little obsessive thingies that you see in the film. So that was added on. And I don't know if that was added on for some comic relief or what, but I did want to bring that to, I did want to mention it because they kind of do like a portrayal of obsessive compulsive disorder but it's kind of done really poorly and just used for laughs which I obviously do not agree with at all. Um, so little things like the balance so if you step in something then you gotta step on the other foot too to make it balanced and it was supposed to be like a joke. Um, the measuring stuff again supposed to be a joke. Straightening your tie a joke. Um, all those little obsessive traits that people with obsessive and compulsive disorder may have were used in this movie for comic relief, which I don't agree with. Like, if there was one of the traits, like one of like the straightening this or whatever, that that just could be a preference. Preference. It doesn't mean like that. But there was many different things that he did that was like textbook OCD, like just basic symptoms that were used as a joke, which I don't agree with. Other than that, the cast was amazing. The girl, the blonde woman, I'll put her name up and the picture and stuff. She did so well. I love the old lady with the dog. She was kind of just me, like I related. Um, the guy, Johnny Depp played uh, Ratchet, which he did such a good job. And William Dafoe was in it. So my only issues, well, something I wanna mention is I don't think this movie is for everybody. It's definitely like a slower paced at the beginning and it kind of like slowly gets into it. I think the resolution of the movie is like explained really well and like shown really well. And it's kind of like, poof. like I remember everyone's face in the theater was like shook. <laughs> like I knew what happened because of the book, but everyone was shook. <laughs> but so I do love the twist in this film. It's just something that bothered me was like the character portrayal of Peria, like uh, her, her, the dude, the, the detective dude. 
I'm not French, sorry. Um, he did such a good job, but the, the obsessive thingies about him really bothered me how they used it as comic relief. Other than that, like, it was mostly, like, a pretty slow-going film. Like, it was, like, steady, interesting, good acting, good characters. Just, just like the book, I wasn't super invested like I am with some other things or, like, some movies I'm, like, on the, like, the edge of my seat. Even if I've read the book, like, I'm still, like, so invested in it. But this one, I was just kind of like, okay. Like, <laughs> Same with the movie, just kind of like, like no really expression, like all right, like it's good, but like I wasn't like excited or nervous or, you know, and it's not because I expected stuff because like, yeah, I expected stuff, but like that's not why because I've seen movies after I've read the books and I've still been like super excited watching the movie. So it's just lacked for me in that as aspect as well. And I think that's what a lot of like other movies reviewers are saying right now. A lot of people I saw on Twitter were calling it boring and stuff. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I, I do agree that the beginning is a bit slower, but once you get on the train, I think it picks up. Um, but yeah, that is my overall thoughts on Murder on the Orient Express. And let me know what you thought of this film down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. my cat isn't he cute pretty pretty isn't he so cute I love this cat